Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming uh, for coming here today. My name is Anthony, and I'll be your MC for today's event. Um, uh, let me just go through a few housekeeping rules. Uh, first of all, please uh, maintain at least one meter distance from yourself and each or others around you. Uh, secondly, please keep your mask on at all times, unless you are on stage and speaking um, or taking group photos. Um, so without further ado, I'm absolutely delighted to actually invite uh, Minister Tan Si Ling onto the stage to kick off today's event. Thank you, Minister. Masks off or on? On. We can take it off. I can take it off, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, very good evening to all of you, and thank you to the ION Mobility team for inviting me to be part of this momentous occasion today to unveil your flagship product, the ION Mobilis. Did I? Oh, Mobius. Yeah, ION Mobius, right. Today is a very special day for ION Mobility and its uh, founding team. I would like to congratulate the team on your achievements as your journey represents the aspirations of what we hope our startups can achieve. First, with a tech-driven growth strategy, Ion Mobility has built up proprietary capabilities to expand and compete regionally. Second, as an OEM manufacturer, or original equipment manufacturer, Ion Mobility has integrated innovative features into the product designed to meet changing consumer preferences, such as the growing demand for greener products. And third, Ion Mobility is an international enterprise anchored by a strong Singapore core. I'm impressed by how much Ion Mobility has accomplished and achieved in such a short period of time. It's been just two years since being founded in October 2019. Notably, during the COVID pandemic, Ion Mobility was able to successfully complete two fundraising rounds, assemble a senior leadership team, and expand its operations to three countries. In fact, I'm told by the founder that, um, that you have life from three countries, right? Yeah, 44 in total. So I'm also very happy to note that Ion Mobility is now ready to launch a small batch manufacturing line in Singapore, and there are plans to scale up to a monthly output of 500 electric motorbikes and battery packs. These are very important milestones, not just for Ion Mobility, but for the local automotive manufacturing industry as well. The global mobility landscape is primed for change, with economies recognising the imperative for more sustainable vehicles. While the pandemic has disrupted mobility patterns and forced businesses to re-examine their operating models. It has also opened up opportunities for businesses to transform and capitalise upon important trends such as sustainability. As Singapore moves towards electrifying our vehicle population by 2040, the launch of Ion Mobius cannot be timelier and more relevant and significant. Ion Mobility has not only integrated the IoT technologies in its Ion Mobius design to create tech-enabled features for greater user experience. The innovative and proprietary battery pack and engine design also allows it to achieve longer range and top speed comparable to the conventional internal combustion engine vehicles. The launch of Ion Mobius today is a combination of the team's passion the courage and hard work over the past two years. The journey of a startup is never easy. And I'm glad to hear how Ion Mobility has been supported by various government agencies throughout the entrepreneurial journey. Besides receiving support from JTC, Ion Mobility has worked closely with Enterprise Singapore or ESG to develop Ion Mobius and expand its overseas footprint. The investment from Seeds Capital, ESG's investment arm, will also help Ion Mobility to accelerate its manufacturing and go-to-market operations both in Singapore and in Indonesia. The government, together with ecosystem partners, remains committed to supporting all homegrown startups like Ion Mobility because 
Your success is our success in creating jobs and growth opportunities for Singapore. ESG offers a holistic and comprehensive set of support initiatives, such as Startups SG programs and the Global Innovation Alliance to help startups develop new technologies and new products and seize new opportunities in new growth areas. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to offer my heartiest congratulations to James and his team at Ion Mobius at Ion Mobility for the launch of Ion Mobius. Ion Mobius has become a catch name. So that must be a very significant and solid brand. So I wish you every success and may you continue to scale new heights. All the best and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Tan, for your, all your words of encouragement. All right. Now we're going to be giving the stage to Ion Mobility founder and CEO, James Chen. Please welcome him. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Minister Tan, esteemed investors, partners, and guests. I'm excited to welcome you to the unveiling of the inaugural EV motorbike. A shout out too to Team Ion and friends catching this live stream as far out as Indonesia, China, Vietnam, Kazakhstan, and of course, Singapore. Yes, we have a Kazakhstani in the company. We started our mobility in late 2019 as we saw the lack of a viable electric mobility brand and solution for Southeast Asia. We were quickly drawn to the immense potential of Indonesia and the rest of our region's industrial supply chain. And we were convinced of what we could deliver to hasten the consumer's inevitable transition towards electric motorbikes in the coming years. With over 200 million motorbikes across Southeast Asia, 112 in Indonesia, 50 in Vietnam, 22 in Thailand, and 14 million in Malaysia. Our region is home to the third largest motorbike population in the world. It is truly the land of the ubiquitous motorbike. Unfortunately, and contrary to popular belief, motorbikes emit up to 16 times more hydrocarbons, three times more carbon monoxide, and a disproportionately high amount of other air pollutants compared to passenger cars. This was based on an 06 research. More recent research has shown a 40 to 60% reduction in hydrocarbons when you can increase the regulatory compliance. But even then, you cannot forget that most of these motorbikes are actually old motorbikes in the population that are not new sold. Right? 112 in Indonesia population compared to pre-pandemic 6.5 sold every year. Right? So there's a huge disparity that we can still exercise impact on. We conducted extensive market research on our target markets and have come to the conclusion that there are no compelling options for Southeast Asian riders to switch away from their traditional combustion motorbikes. These are either too underwhelming for, our, for riders, in other words, short-ranged and low-powered, or too expensive and in form factors that are not suited for their daily use. Consumers continue to face significant barriers in switching over to an electric motorbike that is comparable in power, range, and mobility, uh, in, in reliability to combustion motorbikes for their daily commute. We want to ease each customer's transition to electric mobility such that it no longer becomes a point of anxiety, but a point of joy. To convince them, excuse me, <coughs> to convince consumers to adopt and to differentiate ourselves from existing offerings, we decided to approach this problem holistically. We designed an electric motorbike that is desirable, it's also a joy to use, that isn't just a motorbike. I mean, where does the line start or end, right? You've got two wheels, a motor, computer, battery. When is it a motorbike and when is it a smartphone? When is it a smartphone, but when is it much more a platform for possibilities? It's also an end-to-end -end lifestyle brand and service solution so as to help consumers overcome their friction points towards adoption. Over the past 18 months, we've built our team of over 44 spanning three countries amidst pandemic times without travel. I have to emphasize, no traveling. My last trip was March 2020, before the lockdown, as it happens. Uh, we started our Indonesia and uh, Shenzhen, Jakarta and Shenzhen office three to four months after. Uh, Park Sugeng in the lower left for you. 
He's actually on his way to Singapore right now. He'll land at 6.45, thanks to the VTL. Uh, our Shenzhen team, part of our Indonesia team, our Singapore team, we just took this picture earlier today, this morning. We are pushing the frontiers of the region's automotive industry as a hard tech, full stack company, owning the entire process from design, engineering, production, to marketing sales, and after sales as an original equipment manufacturer. And more to come, right? Across hardware, firmware, software and services as an innovative technology company, automotive tech company, so as to deliver desirable alternatives for motorbikes riders. In so doing, we hope to alleviate urban air pollution and lead the transition to EVs across Southeast Asia, starting with the humble motorbike. Today, we'd like to share with you our first realization of this vision as we unveil the Ion Mobius. Enjoy. Presenting the Ion Mobius in the flesh. At this point, I'd like to hand over my stage to my Chief Design and Product Officer, Sieni. Thank you, Sieni. We're so excited to share with you today the Ion Mobius, built for the future of urban mobility. The key idea for us when we were designing the Mobius was to convey a sense of strength and its sleekness, but also to keep it nimble and zippy so that it's perfect for the urban commute. The Mobius is stylish, it's modern, and it's perfect for Southeast Asia's urban cities. We built the Mobius with the latest technology in powertrain, battery, and control systems. The electric motor scales up to its peak power of 12.5 kilowatts and has a maximum torque of 50 newton meters. Bike has a top speed of up to 110 kmh and can go from zero to 50 in under four seconds. You get the instant torque with the purr of an electric motor with zero emissions. One of our key goals in designing the Mobius was to help users overcome the dreaded range anxiety. For those of you who are here, you'll be able to see this battery pack in more detail when we tour um, our manufacturing line later on. There are three different riding modes that we'll be offering with the Mobius and we'll be, offering different, we'll be offering different configurations of the bike so that users can hit anywhere from 120 to 200 um, kilometers on a single charge, depending on riding style. Apart from the electric motor and battery pack, we've also gone to great lengths to design the vehicle computer, which is paired together with this super bright, high fidelity, seven inch TFT display. The vehicle control unit is the brains of the motorcycle. It allows the bike to connect directly to the internet over LTE, and you can also connect to your phone via Bluetooth. We've designed the user interface to be futuristic, clean, and intuitive, making it easy for users to glance down and get all the pertinent information at one shot. The Mobius will pair seamlessly with your smartphone over Bluetooth using our Ion app, and the app will allow users to customize various settings on, on the Mobius, such as the UI, various sound themes, and they'll also be able to review the ride data and analyze and improve their riding style based on the statistics. If you forgot where you parked your bike, no problem. You can just pop open your Ion app and find it on GPS. We'll be extending, uh, we'll be inviting partners to integrate with the Mobius via an API layer to provide hyperlocal services and to really improve the customer experience. We have much more to share with you all. Uh, in the coming months. We've designed and engineered the Mobius to evolve over time with firmware and software upgrades as we continue to interact and learn from our customers and our partners. We've designed a motorbike that is powerful and intelligent for today's urban user in an appealing and modern form factor. Today's unveiling is just the beginning. 
an introduction to the key features of the IM OBS. We'll be releasing more details about the specifications, pricing, and availability from next year. I'd like to invite James back up to close off this section. Thank you, CNE. I forgot my mask. Luckily, I have a backup. What you've seen so far and what you will see in the subsequent walkabout, we, we have two offices here. We call it SG1 and SG3. We actually had another one, and then we, we upgraded to SG3. We kept the SG2 label and jumped. They are the culmination of our hard work since July last year in the midst of this ongoing pandemic across multiple countries. A lot more work remains ahead of us in order to deliver the Mobius to our customers and achieve our vision and mission to alleviate urban air pollution and accelerate the transition towards an electric mobility future across Southeast Asia. We thank you all for taking the time to join us at this key milestone in our company's journey today. I would now like to invite Minister Tan to come up on stage to receive a very special token of appreciation and for photo taking. Minister Tan, please. Thank you. For time being, to, there'll be a bunch of stuff going on, yeah? Um, so when, when brainstorming on the token of appreciation, we decided to go with the times and put up the design art for the Mobius onto the blockchain as NFTs. We produced two very special large format prints, the only two in the world, and we'll generate them as two distinct NFTs on OpenSea. Minister Tan, uh, we'd like for you to sign one of them as our keepsake, right? Uh, we'll put it up, nice place, right? Uh, in return, will gift you the only other piece in the world as our token of appreciation. Do get in we'll, we'll get in touch with you and your team on how you can claim your one-is-to-one -one equivalent NFT of your print. Write us a nice message. Stay on, mister. Thank you. I'm now going to present you with your copy. Okay, I'll do that later. <laughs> um, help me hold for a while. I'm gonna put my mask. Yeah. Oops. The photo taking. No need. Photo taking. Yeah. Okay. Photo taking. No need mask. Photo taking. Oh. You want to take out a mask first? Yeah. One meter apart. This is big enough for a meter. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to move nearer to the bike a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Those are great, really great photos. Thank you. Thank you, James and Minister Tan. I would actually like to take this opportunity to capture this occasion with a few more group photos uh, next to the Ion Mobius. Uh, so may I please invite Xian Yi to take the stage just next to Minister Tan. Thank you. Awesome, great. So thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to move on and take this opportunity to invite the members of the welcoming party to join uh, for a group photo. So that's Mr. James Tan, Mr. Edwin Chow, Ms. Bernadette Fung, and Ms. Sophia Ng. standing here and one uh, thank you so much 
my request the welcome party now to return to their seats. And for the final group photo, I would like to invite the Ion Mobility board members to the stage. So Mr. James Tan, Mr. Charles Wong, and Mr. To Ting Feng. Thank you. Great photos, everyone. So everyone on stage, may I please invite you to back to your seats. Thank you very much. Um, so that concludes the first half of today's uh, event. Uh, for the second half, uh, everyone in this building, including the meeting rooms uh, in the back, uh, will be invited to join the tour, uh, the tour of the assembly line just next door. Uh, so with the assembly line being 200 meters away, what we would like to do is for, uh, for us to divide you into groups first. Um, so for the very first group, we'll have the front row rise together with our um, friends from the media. Um, so I would like you to follow uh, Xianyi and James to lead the way. Thank you very much.